they can see. Oh, top of my head's cut off. Oh, well, we're trying to go up tall. You can you have to adjust it. Sorry, yeah. we're gonna we're trying a new camera angle tonight to see if you can get us and all the stuff. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it. That's okay. Um, let me pull up comments. It's Saturday night, guys. How are you doing? Did you have good I weeks? Say that. <laughs> I hurt. Maybe I didn't. Well, oh. no one, no one replied. <laughs> I don't know. Replied. Well, maybe nobody's. Maybe no, nobody's, nobody's, nobody's tuning in tonight. Okay, oh top man, top. look at this apple. Someone put a worm in it. <laughs> All right. So if you're tuning in for the first time. On Saturday nights we go live. Most of the time we do thrift store finds. Sometimes it's the kids painting stuff with us. Or last week we we're in California and we did a tour of my friend Debbie's shop. But on, on Saturday nights we like to show you what we've been picking. I actually picked a lot of stuff this week. If you follow me on Instagram, I posted a picture and had a dresser and all the stuff that I bought. And most of that already went to the shop, but I have saved a few things to show you guys today. Also, something that happened that's super exciting on Instagram, I hit 10K, 10,000 followers on Instagram, which has been a goal of mine. I set it last August to hit 10K by this August, and we just hit it today, and I'm super excited because it means swipe up. Yeah, you get swipe up when you hit 10 grand. Instagram rewards you, and they're like, here, here's this awesome new feature you get. I don't know how to do it yet, but I do intend to figure it out. <laughs> um, we're going to be uh, doing, when we do our videos, then I will go on Insta stories and do swipe up so you can get straight to our videos. So for sure, if you haven't already followed Jamie Ray Vintage on Instagram, do that because that'd be another way for you to get notifications. Um, I'll let people know when we're gonna go live. I will let people know when new videos are up. So it's a good way to stay in touch. So this should be 10 million followers. I love you, <laughs> Belinda. You want to tell them about this fun box I've been unloading here? Okay, so I spent, except for a couple of items, I got most of tonight's haul for $20. I, there was a lady and she was selling on Facebook Marketplace a, a bunch of farmhouse decor. And I couldn't really tell from her picture what it was, but I thought for 20 bucks, it's a good find. So It's all kinds of little like scene kind of stuff. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I figured worst case scenario, I'll give it to the kids to paint. It's like this fun little, uh, Look at that house. it's That's like cool. reclaimed or something. Yeah. And a lot of it's dusty. Like it was on top of the cap. It's like, look how cute this chicken is. You guys know I love chickens. Um, this I probably won't do much with maybe a little dry brush on the frame. Is that a sheep? Yep. It's a sheep. And it's already got that good crackle on beep, it. Beep, beep. I'm a sheep. I might paint it white though. I don't know. The crackle will come what else through. is there? I haven't unloaded the box. This is the first time. Oh, we've got some metal roosters. I thought those were cool. These are cool. There's, I think there's they look, two of those. They look like carnival glass almost. Yeah, we'll probably paint these. Oh, that's the back side. <laughs> these roosters somebody cut out. They're a little bit... Uh, they're a little they're, rustic. <laughs> yeah, they're a little rustic. Maybe somebody's from them. These I thought were totally ceramic in the picture. They're not. They're like pillows. Chicken pillows. We're but gonna run them through the washer. We're gonna run them through the washing machine. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I had to buy a new washing machine last week because we came home from California. It was broke. This one's kind of cool. Oh, that's way cute. It's got, it says farm farm fresh eggs on it, and then it's got that little stand. I'm actually really liking that a lot. Yeah, I'll just leave that the way that it is. Yeah, no reason to mess with that. It's already already good to go. <clears throat> and she. Oh, Carol, you're not late. We just got started. We're just unloading the box. Look at these cute little houses. I will probably repaint the houses, I think. The little ones, these? I don't know. Maybe they should be clean. I think they just wipe them down and maybe just like set them as kind of like, yeah. a, you know, they look good in your little uh, cake globe scene that oh, we yeah. did like we did for Christmas last year. You did it. You're much better at scenes inside of globes like you did for Christmas. I don't this, know about that. That one's not This is just like a little metal repop thing from probably Hobby Lobby. It's interesting. Holds, holds more flowers in here, I'm guessing. I figured whatever I can like, I could take to the thrift store, or I could just let the kids paint. Somebody really likes sunflowers. But there's a bunch of like these wooden apples. These are wood, and they've got these cool little wooden carved stems in them. I, they're, they're fun, I like them a lot. Yeah, these are like the foam ones. This one has a worm coming out of it, and that's weird. That might go on the... Look how cute that is. Look at is. this, this is a little, Little like chicken, chicken feeder. feeder type thing. 
it's no, on the wall. That has a hanger on the wall. Yeah, it would have been a it would have been a chicken feeder. Yeah. Someone added this to it. I'm pretty For sure this is, this is exciting. I'm pretty sure this is authentically old. Yeah, it looks this like This is it. the real deal here. Here's a little guy. Can we name this guy Zeb? Uh, only if we can name this one Jamie. Oh, Zeb and Jamie. I'm totally painting those. <laughs> Love it. What's All this right, guy? Last but not least, a little... This guy uh, had a travesty. That's going in the garbage. He's missing a hand. Oh, is he missing a hand? Yeah. All right. And then this here, it looks like this was also made into some sort of shelf. Oh, it's sagging. It was a shelf for a long time. Yeah, we'll have to fix it. It'll be a tote now. That was good for 20 bucks. Isn't there a bag too? Or did you get the bag? I already unloaded the bag. Oh, but we got that cool wooden car over there too. Yeah, that one's kind of cool. I'm not in love with this 80s farm fabric. That might go away. Yeah, look. Car. You missed it. Oh, you found a chicken in the basket. This is cool. Show them that chicken. I'm thinking, and I don't know what this is. Uh, did you see this? I'm assuming it's some sort of grinder for something know. or other. Yeah, it's definitely got a grinder attachment in there. Probably had a hopper or something you put on the top. I don't think it would be a meat grinder, but maybe for like, uh, oh, it's maybe coffee. I don't, know. I don't know. I don't know enough about it. I but it's cool. It looks awesome. You could get like a little vase or something and put it up on top there. Yeah. Well, and this, so this I'm not going to paint. I like this the way that it is. We'll just glue this back together. So we can put that over there. Well, all let's right. put all the apples in it. I'm not painting Putting apples. all the apples in there. Okay. Yeah, for 20 bucks, this was a sweet find. <laughs> and the gal, like we, I think, we, didn't you pay for it when we were in California? Yeah, I have a, if you guys all follow me in the Jamie Ray Vintage Facebook group, so I have a Facebook page and a Facebook group. We have a group where we share pictures and talk. It's really fun. Um, I shared a picture of my garage. It's really cool. Um, I know it's, it's... I had that cleaned out like two and a half weeks ago. Completely cleaned out. I helped. Yeah. And then I helped fill it up again. And so I shop at Facebook Marketplace like all the time. And I actually bought this while I was in California. Yeah. So you can shop Facebook Marketplace anywhere. Even on vacation. Yes. Except it's dangerous. So these I actually bought in California. There's like tarnished silver. I think they were like two bucks. There's this little, so if you guys are in California and you stop by um, 127 North Main Street in Bal or Main Avenue in Fallbrook, there's a little thrift store down the street. It's like a, I don't know, some charity thrift store. And I love that thrift store. It's one of my absolute favorites. In fact, I had a few people that showed up for the event early and they actually were at the thrift store while I was thrifting there. And that's where these two little candlesticks came. This we got from our bishop, this little chair. Yeah, his wife came by they, and with all his girls, they're like, we're getting rid of it, do you want it? And of course we said yes, because we take all the furniture. Love little chairs. I'll paint that. This I picked up at a local thrift store here. It was like a dollar fifty. It was really cute. I like the base. That's what really got me. What color are you painting that? I don't know. I'm I am gonna paint so this we got chair. We got some petticoat pink going on that chair. Yeah, I need more pink. All my pink accessories sell in like this. So. Yeah, the pink is almost uh, more popular than like the pops of blue stuff that we do. Oh, oh is that you want to show them the stool that oh, we found? Oh, we do too? have it's a really, stool. I don't buy a lot of like bar stools that are just round unless they're really cute. And this one has so much cute detail on it. Show them that. Yeah, I'll bring it up close so you can see it. Good. All right, so there's the stool. It's got a rung that's loose here on this side. So what I'll do is I'll just glue that in and I won't even have to nail it or anything. Once the glue sets, it'll be like brand new. We'll like clamp it or whatever. And we're going to oh, put yeah. this little plastic heat on them that will take so off. We could probably paint it and then glue it because yeah. it's not, it's not that the, hard of a repair. What I really love to do to these bar stools like this is last time I stenciled a number on top. It sold the same day I put it in the shop. Oh, we got to get rid of these plastic feet though. Yeah, the plastic feet got to go. I'm hoping they're not You can go out. ahead and paint that though. And we can, um, yeah, I can glue do it later. We do that all the time. Do you, okay, comment in the comments. Do you ever paint stuff and then fix it? If you guys saw the dresser we painted this week. And then fixed it. And then <laughs> fixed it. It actually sold. Uh, my neighbor went by the shop today and picked up that cute, not the white dresser, if you follow me on social media, but the one we painted in, what did we paint that in? Sweetie Jane. And we did the dark oil wax. And then Zeb fixed the drawers. <laughs> so you're just using a damp cloth and soap? Yeah, it's just uh, soapy water getting off the crusties. It's pretty dry, so it doesn't need to be sanded, but I just want to make sure that it's clean. So that way we're not painting these, are we? We're just leaving these as is? Yeah, okay. they just need to be cleaned. 
this can go away. That's not getting painted. And I don't really know, like... The car's got some overspray on it. I think if we go all white and then distress it back, I don't really care if it has the number seven showing. How about we just um, spray that, though, with the gun? Spray with the spray yeah, gun? Yeah, because I think that's going to be a pain in the butt to try to brush around those wheels. You are right. Okay. I am right every now and then. So let's see. Let's talk about our day. We had at the shop, we did a uh, sidewalk sale. That went pretty good. We sold a few things. Sold some, had a bunch of... It, it was a great way to get new people in the shop. So I wasn't there all day, but Karina, who was working today, said that she had a ton of first-timers in the shop. So a good way to bring people into your shop every now and then, especially on the weekends, is to throw a bunch of stuff outside and grab their attention. Today was a big parade in our town, and so we thought we'd capitalize on that and it worked pretty good we sold quite a bit of stuff and got some new people in the store tiger mouse 74 too much of a perfectionist always fix and then paint oh uh, well you know it's okay it's okay it's... you can be a perfectionist we're not <laughs> <laughs> we so... actually met cat today i don't know if she's watching she came all the way from vegas and she came for a baby shower and she came by the shop and said hi to me, and that's always fun. And everybody that came to California to Fallbrook last week to our new retail space where we have paint there, vintage retail therapy, that was really fun. That was awesome. We had a really fun turnout, and everybody was great. We loved meeting you guys, so th thanks for coming out and seeing us. Zeb got social. Zeb, Zeb's not super <laughs> social, but he is getting there. It's not He's that I'm not friendly. I just, you know, I prefer to kind of hang out on the sidelines. Yeah, but you're a frontline kind of guy. <laughs> so I'm using Where's my symbols? I need my symbol sound. <laughs> so I'm using my paint pixie brush and I'm using petticoat pink, which is a DIY paint. If you're I know we have a ton of new subs, so I just want to kind of go over some stuff that maybe I don't always talk about. It's all natural, clay based, covers really well. You don't have to worry about harmful toxins. No prep required unless it's like if you can see your reflection in the shine. You might want to lightly sand or use a high bond primer. But in this case, what color are you going? Ooh, farm fresh. Farm fresh on this stool. So if you used uh, if you used DIY paint and you haven't tried farm fresh, it's a good color. It's a little richer than apothecary, but very much a farmhouse color. Very pretty. I use it quite a bit. It's been a minute since I've used it, so it's good to try that out. Uh, are we gonna have comments that we need to respond to? Uh, I'm questions? sure people have been talking. People have been talking. Yes. And if we don't catch your comments on the lives, can we catch, can we respond to them later? Um, I don't think we can respond to them. We can read them. We can see them later as they pop up in the video, but we can't respond. Oh, okay. Lots of people catching us live for the first time tonight. That's fun. That's fun. We're glad you're here. So, we'll, if you're just popping on, you missed the beginning, watch, re-watch the video, and you can see all of our finds. Um, what we like to do on Saturday night is show you all the stuff that we've been picking throughout the week. What colors, so if you guys paint furniture, what colors are you painting? Like, what are your favorite colors right now? So I, I got a question paint. real quick. Yeah. Um, Sandy Grubb uh, wants to know, when you just clean before painting, what do you use to clean? So just warm water and soap. Like, Jamie just got some a rag out of the sink back here and hit it with some warm water and a little bit of dish soap. Degreasing dish soap works the best. Dawn. We use Dawn because... It cuts through the grease just like the advertisement says. Yep. Well, and it depends on what you're painting, how gross is it, how much, you know, adherence do you want. I'm going to sand this when I'm done. So anywhere that it maybe wasn't perfect, we'll sand off when I sand it. Um, you can use, a lot of people use what's called crud cutter. I've never tried it, but I heard it's really good. I always just use Dawn and water because that's what I got. Sometimes I spray bleach cleaner like Clorox cleanup. I'm not very good at brushing chairs. Jill Little says she uses water and vinegar, also good. Yep. And what she's been liking right now to paint is white, gray, and more white. More white, yeah, lots of white. You know, I get a lot of crap from the finishing world for painting a lot of white, because I do boho sometimes. I do like to get bright, but um, I think there's a way to do it right. I think when a piece has a lot of detail, I feel like a white piece can be really calming and speak, like stand on its own. Problem with white is two things. <laughs> Bleed through, hold on, and bleed through. So that's not my favorite sometimes, but I do love it. And we, what we do in our shop, like if you ever see our shop and, or if you've watched the video, we try to like balance it out. So I don't have an all white shop. There's actually a lot of color in it. I just paint a lot of white stuff because the white sells fast, so I like to balance out the color 
with the whites. And I have all white walls, so that helps balance that out too. Bohemian Blue is getting a vote for favorite color Ooh, right now. I like Boho Blue. I actually painted something that last week. And then followed by Prairie Gray. Hmm. You know, I haven't used Prairie Gray a lot. I, I actually don't paint in gray a lot. I don't know how weird that is. I think in different states it's more popular. My friend Becca says that in, in New York it's all about gray. Like all the grays, the grayish, all that. And I don't do it that much. I mean, every now and then. I actually sold a gray chippy dresser last week, the one that we did a YouTube video on. So Belinda, Belinda Harper wants affordable DIY paint. What you need to do is you need to get all your friends and be like, listen, we're gonna do a co-op order because we do ship internationally. Uh, it does cost a little bit to ship it, but it's not significantly more the more you get, it's just a little bit up front. So if you get like a larger order, you're not gonna spend a ton and then you can split it between your friends. Yeah, if you just order a few things, it does cost quite a bit to ship internationally, but the larger orders are less per item for sure. I've been shipping all over the place. And it does take up to like six weeks for international because it goes from our house to a hub and then it goes internationally. And sometimes if the paint's not in stock, it comes from our manufacturer to our house, to the hub and then out. So it's it's got a little bit of a plane ride to get to you. Yeah, this little chair is gonna be awesome. And the nice thing is like, this is an eight ounce paint. I've been, I've been using this sample for lots and lots of smalls. I've painted a ton of stuff with it. It's a little bit goes a long way. And I love anything, a little bit of pink here and there. So probably what I'll do on Monday is I'll go into the shop and we'll see what's there and what's in the garage and then we'll map out what we're gonna paint. And we like to, if, we, if we're spraying or even if we're not spraying, we like to set up stations like everything that's going this color gets painted together. Then we clean out the brush or the spray gun or whatever. And then everything that's going this color gets done together. And it's much more, it's a much more efficient way to paint. And you can paint out an entire garage in one day. And then the next day you can distress it and get your ceiling on. You can really bust out a lot of furniture. Christina, we are using our go-to brushes. They are the Paint Pixie brushes. This is the one and three quarter inch. Jamie, you want to hold up yours? I'm using the one and, one and a quarter. Jamie's is a little smaller. There's it's the one and a size. quarter. There's only six dollars difference between the two of them, and this one is much, much bigger. We use this a lot, especially on big furniture. This is really good for like smaller details. And I like the round brush if I'm like really getting into corners or details. The French round is really nice too. But if you're just going to buy one brush, I'd buy the one and three quarters. But you know. You're going to eventually want all the paint pixies. And you ask where to find them. Um, we sell them on our website, jamierayvintage.com. Oh, I yeah. put the link in all the descriptions of every video if you can't remember that. So hit it up. And I, if you guys prefer to like read and look at pictures, you can go to jamierayvintage.com, click the blog. And uh, my niece helps me write my blog and takes my videos and puts pictures in there and links and everything. And so if you ever want to check out the blog, it's all there. It might be a little faster than you know getting the videos and then she always includes the link to the videos so you can find that. Well, find that. I can't even talk. Find the Sherry 1674W, have you ever used baby wipes to clean furniture or smalls? I have used Lysol wipes. Like when I've been on the go and I know I'm gonna buy something and paint it and not have time to scrub it, I have used Lysol wipes. I did a grand opening of a thrift store and I had to buy stuff in the thrift store and then paint it and I brought my Lysol wipes with me so I could clean it off. So this is going to dry. Denise, shoot, we have a clean on brush. We have one and it's great. For flat surfaces. Yes. <laughs> These, uh, it, I, aren't the clean on brush, at least the one we have, I think it's full synthetic. Would this be cute if I painted it pink? And these are a synthetic blend and natural bristle blend. So they. They clean up good, they hold a ton of paint, we just we love them. Yeah, they're really good. They're made in Italy, that, and the other thing about Klingon is sometimes they're hard to get in stock. I have a friend who sells them, and the manufacturer is not always on top of his stock. These are actually made in Italy, but the wholesaler that I work with, she is a female business owner in Vegas, my friend Josie. And she's really good about staying on top of her inventory. Every now and then they'll be out of stock because it's crazy popular, but she works really hard to get them in stock quick. And I keep a huge stock of them here too. 
Oh, you know what else is exciting? I put in my IOD order this week. Yep, we, we were kind of, IOD switched some things up and changed their, well, their, their manufacturer. manufacturer, so we haven't had their stuff for a little while, but we are going to have a bunch new of new products coming soon from yeah, IOD. So, so watch out. If you haven't signed up for our newsletter on, um, gosh, I sound like an infomercial. But the odds <laughs> on for this and this and go here and follow I us here. I just want to help them find everything. If you go to Jamie Ray Vintage and you sign up for our newsletter, there's two things that will happen. One, you can you'll get a code to save ten percent off of everything in our online store except DIY products because those cannot be marked down online. Um, you will also get notified every time something happens, like we're doing a sale or we've got a new video, like we'll do like weeklies on the new videos or new products. So like when our IOD stuff comes in stock, we will send out an email and let everybody know that the new product is up on the website. Or if you've been trying to get a hold of that golden hard ticket. to find golden ticket. Yeah, every time we get golden ticket back in stock, we always send out an email to let everybody know it's back in stock and then it usually winds up going out of stock in 24 hours. Okay. So everybody always ends up asking in the comments later. So how much would you sell this little stool for once we get a stencil on it? Mm. Probably $28. And the chair? Uh, probably like 15 maybe 20 15 to 20 15 to 20 I'm going to get a brush. Right it depends back. on how much she loves it once it's all distressed and sealed up. <laughs> it's true. If she, if she really likes something, she's not sad if it doesn't sell quickly. We have a sewing machine that has not sold for, I mean, we did a video on it, what, like back in I'd like February? To sell, I'd like to sell that now. She's ready to sell it, but... It's fun to stage stuff on, and it looks cool in the shop. So she's like, eh, I'm all right if it doesn't sell, but I guess well, she's ready. It's a really chippy finish, but I'm tired of looking at it. I'd also like to sell the buffet with the wallpaper. It turned out super cute. Everybody loved it. Nobody bought it. So hopefully that sells. But you know what? If you guys watched our video that we did on our shop, we had like that buffet that had the legs cut off of it. We've had that one forever, and oh. that sold last week. I was going to build legs for it. I was ready to build legs for it, and... To, to turn those and do like a fun video on putting legs on that buffet and then someone bought it while we were in California. Oh, uh, Jacob wants to know when our t-shirts are going to be done. Oh, I'm working on those tonight after we're do, done on the live. We'll have, I thought we were going to match socks tonight. I was really excited to match socks. I, we might do that too. You know, it needs to be done. Our 16-year-old, well, almost 16, comes up the stairs. He's like, I'm late for work. I need socks. And we buy probably, like, I feel like we buy 30 socks a month. I buy a few of packs socks. a month. Yeah, a month somebody. we're going through socks and socks and socks. And he wears the same size shoe as I do. And I had one pair of socks that were matched in my drawer, and I was defending them. I was like, dude, no. These are my socks. The I, teenager one. Yeah, he had to go to work. He got the socks. Not I don't know where they go, though. We got, like, a huge drawer of, like, single socks that don't match anything so we like to match socks with a family of seven it gets a little i don't know why i'm putting my leg up here i feel like it's helping me balance maybe oh rooster time why don't you go paint it in front of the camera so they can see that. Oh, here can i go like this this is the can rooster. you guys see the yeah, rooster all right <laughs> we're just using oops that's a lot of paint it's kind of hard to paint like this though i'm flinging paint everywhere if you guys ever see Jamie painting left-handed, it's because I'm trying to film at a weird angle, and I'm like, hey, I need you to use your other hand. Uh, and that says that her washer eats socks. This is true. They do all you, eat socks. Do you haggle back and forth on the prices in your shop? No. Nope. No. Because then once you start doing that and people know they can, then they think that they have to to get a good deal, and then they want to haggle on everything. We really just try to price it right, and then about once a quarter we'll do a sale on stuff that hasn't been moving. We'll just mark it down and just leave it down until it sells. Yeah, so we don't do that. And I don't really haggle much when I'm buying either. Uh, shocking, I know. I do haggle at the thrift store because sometimes stuff is overpriced. At our thrift stores, you can tell there's usually a date on there. It has like the week. And I will see what week, how long it's been there, and I will ask for lower prices because sometimes it's just too expensive. When she's saying too expensive, it's like two hundred dollars at the thrift store for something that no, sometimes it's we would pay. And ask for <laughs> uh, I buy a lot, you know. I I am single handedly supporting my local thrift store. I don't right. know about that. We went there to do a donation today. We took the trailer and dumped a whole bunch of stuff off to do a donation, 
and there was a line to do donations like out into the road. Yeah, they <laughs> get a lot of donations. They need, somebody commented recently on one of our videos that we were, what did they say? Oh, uh, we were terrible people. No, it wasn't uh, even terrible. We were disgusting. Yeah, disgusting. We were disgusting because we were buying stuff from a thrift store, fixing it up and selling it for a profit. I'm guessing that their thought was because the stuff at the thrift store is just for poor people who can't shop at regular stores, I'm, so we shouldn't make a profit on it. But our thrift stores here get so much given, donated. They're church-owned thrift stores. If you guys know Utah at all, uh, most everybody goes to one particular church here. And that church thrift store gets a ton and ton and ton of donations. So if regular people didn't buy them or people flipping them, they wouldn't be able to move them. And what the thrift store does, at least DI, is regular they take that. Regular people. Who's a regular, regular people. I don't know. I don't even know what she was getting at. Whatever. You get my point. If everybody didn't shop there, they'd have a surplus of stuff. So what they do with the money, though, is they take that and they do vocational education for their employees. So if you if you shop at Desert Industries, which is where we buy a lot of our smalls at, you're actually helping support and rehabilitate people in the workforce. And sometimes you have to deal with people that don't quite know exactly what they're doing, but it's super fun to see the people like learn and grow. And we go there often enough, we get to know the people and we see them really learning a skill. And they don't just learn vocational skills in Desert Industries, they also um, learn them like they have training outside. Yeah, they'll like teach you how to weld and run, do like business classes and all kinds of stuff. Yeah, so I'm all about supporting that and, and helping grow that. And they also do a lot of humanitarian. They take the money that they sell stuff at the thrift store and they send it to other countries. So I can make a business out of it and I can support a good cause. I'm all for that. All right, let's see. Danielle says, you must be talking about DI. I went there today, too, and they had a super long donation. Danielle, did you, were you at the one in American Fork? <laughs> it was bad. It was also a super long line at the dump. Yes, we occasionally have stuff to go to the dump. Some Mostly our, our clothes, washer and dryer that had died. Yeah, and our clothes. We, we took all the paint clothes. <laughs> yeah, so we just cleaned out our closet because we couldn't actually walk in it. Like, if you walked in the closet, you were going to walk on clothes. That's how bad it was. Embarrassing, but true. So we clean it out, but the problem is a lot of our clothes are paint clothes, so you can't donate those. Like, nobody wants them. So we saved like 20 paint outfits, which is sufficient, and we got rid of the rest. Um, well, I found that since I'm no longer growing, I just, I had clothes from like, I don't know, 15 years ago that I hadn't ever worn. I still had clothes from Discount Tire, like uh, uniforms and stuff sitting in the closet that I hadn't worn in three years. <laughs> Seb's a little bit of a sentimental clothes hoarder. Hey, you know, you get a good Star Wars shirt, you just gotta hang on to that forever. Or your Chino Valley All-Stars jacket. Oh, I have a jacket. It says 1995 Chino Valley All-Stars on it from when I played baseball as a kid, and I'm, I told her to bury me with it because I love it. You're missing a spot there. I was like, can't you just take a picture of it? I'm, I'm not as sentimental. People, I think so, a lot of people that do what we do, like they hold on to stuff and they hoard stuff. I'm actually like, get rid of it, send it on its merry little way. That's why I actually really love having a shop space because I do like to buy a lot, but I, you obviously can't keep everything that you buy. So I get to pick all the things that I love and then keep a few things and send stuff to somebody else's house. Oh, flea market. So somebody said they like what's it, Ross Rosa colored glasses says she does better at flea markets than the thrift stores. So here in Utah, if you go to a flea market, it's more like a upcycled vintage fair. Very seldom are you gonna get like flea market yard sale type prices. So here we don't go to them, but I would love to go to like a real flea market where you could really get like bulk and get good deals. Our thrift stores for furniture are a little expensive, but as far as Deseret industry goes for like smaller items, you know, a dollar or two for an item, I think it's pretty darn good. And it's pretty universal, not just in Utah. Because we went to Tucson mm -hmm. and they have the same stuff, the same prices. Yeah. You gonna show them your stool? I just wanted to show them the difference in the color as these as this DIY paint dries because it's clay based, you've got this nice dark color, and then this is what it looks like dry. It gets real nice and flat. But when you seal back over it, because we get to ask this question a lot, they're like, it doesn't look anything like the picture or the paint color. When you seal back over it, it'll darken up. So if you wax it or use like Big Top or Top Coat or whatever, um, it'll, it'll darken right back up. Yeah, for sure. I don't think I'm going to paint a lot of this other stuff. We can paint this. 
Yeah, paint the bowl. I'm gonna paint that white because I actually have a lot of color going on in the shop, so I need to add more white. Even more white. Okay. Oh, Paris is in, is uh, good evening from Fallbrook. Hey. We were just last weekend. We need you. All right, Paris, you're, you have a mission. We need you to find us an old, dilapidated farmhouse on like an acre or two that's super cheap and needs an up, like an up fix up. Because I keep looking online and all the houses are beautiful, but they're not like farmhouse. And I need that. I need an old one. They have, a lot of them are like Spanish style homes. Yeah. So that's your new, that's your new uh, mission, should you choose to accept it. <laughs> No, we had a great time in Fallbrook last week. I'm planning on going back in October. The IOD sisters are going to be at Mara's shop in October. So if you're in California, make sure that you follow Vintage Retail Therapy, and that way you'll know when Mara's doing classes and you can purchase paint. I have a full stock of DIY and Sweet Pickens, and also so you can know when the IOD sisters are coming because that's really cool. And then I'm also going to be teaching there in October. So. Do you want me to paint the lamb white? Oh, yeah, let's paint the lamb white, but you're going to have to get a different brush. I'm just going to give this a light rinse, and then we'll see what kind of fun color mix we get. <laughs> you can use Big Top over poly. I mean, if you use polyurethane, it might yellow. It depends. Did you paint it? Did you stain it? You can definitely put Big Top over it. Um, let's see. I should go to the world's longest yard sale. I want to. My fr I have a few friends that are on that yard sale, uh, on that yard sale train. In fact, they're doing a. I can't remember what it's called. Do you know what it's called? Us case going. They're doing a something junk in. They're doing a contest. I don't know. Okay, it's lost. My brain's gone. That's an issue with boys and dads when they have the same shoe size. Luckily, Harrington's really picky about shoes, and so he won't steal the shoes, but he does steal his socks. He's trying to get all my Star Wars shirts, too. Like, they've all been slowly going missing. The thing is that, like, our, so our almost 16-year-old is the same size as Deb, and our almost 13-year-old, I wear, like, a women's medium, and she wears a women's small. And so she um, will steal my clothes. All the time. <laughs> she just cleaned out her closet and brought something she wore last week. She's like, oh, hey, I have one of mom's favorite shirts. It's been down in my closet for like eight months. <laughs> Stinker. I'm kind of excited because I'm like, sweet. Then I can buy new clothes and I can give her all my hands. You guys can share like, like yeah. sisters. Because I get bored <laughs> and I want new stuff, but I feel like I can't buy it. This way I can just share it with her and be like, okay, now I'm getting new stuff. Debbie says, ha ha, she would steal your Star Wars stuff too. Sweet. Yeah, we're a big Star Wars family. Probably me and Eliza are like the only ones that aren't into it as much, but I do enjoy it. And we just went to Disneyland when we were in California. We surprised the kids and we saw Kylo Ren, right? Kylo. Kylo. Ky Kylo Ren. And our little boy Jack loves Kylo Ren. I don't know why he's like a mass murderer, but. He is not. He's not a mass murderer? Kylo? Yeah, he has people killed all the time. Oh, he's the bad guy for sure. But you know, he's gonna have his redemption in episode nine. I sense it coming. You sent you feel you feeling the Porsche with that one? Yep. Ray's gonna yeah. help him out. So anyways, we go to meet Kylo at Disneyland and Jack's like, Kylo like grabs his hand and says, You wanna come with me? And Jack's like, sure, I'll go with you. We'll be friends. He in was so picture. excited. He was so excited. He, he was starstruck. This was Jack as soon as he saw Kylo. We have and Jack's never quiet. No, never. I don't know where he gets that from. Me either. Because you never talk. I don't. I don't talk much. Whatever. Whatever. Keep it all inside. Today we were shopping. I wasn't super thrilled about that. I just wasn't thrilled for what we were shopping for. <laughs> well, my daughter also cleaned out her closet, and we went to Old Navy, and I had a list of things she wanted to buy, so we picked that up, and then we went shoe shopping. Apparently he doesn't like to buy little girl sandals. He said next week we have to go look at a truck. Oh, she, and Angel says Hobby Lobby has farmhouse decor 60 some, 66 percent off. We actually went when they were 75 percent off, and we bought all the cool things that we liked, and a few of them I painted and I put them in my shop, and all but one of the or two of the things has sold. I don't. 60 percent off is pretty great though. Yeah, I don't normally buy like mass-produced stuff, but this was stuff that they were clearing out that they weren't going to have any more of. I like to do thrifted finds, but sometimes it's kind of fun to have a mix. So my one and three quarter brush was not fitting down in to 
the legs here. So I went and got the zebra brush, and this is like their fun corner brush. And look how perfect that fits down in there. I don't, I don't think we sell those on the website. That's all right. They're, fun, they're okay. awesome. I'm using it. Give us the thumbs up if you think we should sell the corner brushes on the website. I think I have some. Thumbs up if this brush needs to be added. I think they're not very expensive, like 13 bucks or something. Oh, you know what else is happening that's super exciting? You guys, if people are still watching with us, we should let them know that we signed up to be brand ambassadors with Essential Stencils, and they're going to send me some products to give away. Yeah, we're going to be doing a giveaway here. So if you guys ever watch us stencil stuff and you see me use the Essential, I can't even talk, Essential Stencils, I'm going to get a big kit from them, and I'm going to be giving stuff away on our YouTube channel, which is kind of exciting. Also, we didn't do anything for our 50k giveaway, though. It's probably we didn't we didn't have a 50k giveaway. We hit it. We talked about it. And we're like, sweet, let's go to 100. We really want that play button, which brings me to my next thing. <laughs> are we are we about ready to wrap this up? No. Um, <laughs> if you guys like our videos, if you can share them with your friends, either these videos or our DIY videos, that's really helpful to us. Look how cute! Look how cute! Is this me or you? Uh, oh, that's, that's me. That's you. I'm going to paint me. Late. You're going to paint yourself? Do we get to keep these forever? I don't know. Because you know, <laughs> I'll probably like hide them away somewhere and then we will we'll keep them forever. I know. You stick them with all the box of computer cords. You missed a spot here. My box of computer cords. Oh my goodness. I can never get rid of them, but then they go out of date and I'm like, oh, I kept that for nothing. Well, we're but, playing. But every now and then I need one. I'm like, oh, I threw that away. <laughs> Here's my thing about throwing things away. Are you ready? I'm going to lay some wisdom down for you. If it's not something you use all the time and you give it to somebody else and they can use it, then when you need it, you can go to this place called Walmart or Target and they have neatly stored for you all of these items. And you have to rebuy them, but if you take what you're buying them for and divide it by how many months you didn't need it, that's just paying a nominal storage fee to Walmart for storing this item that you didn't need till the future. Okay. See? You know what I'm saying? It only becomes a problem if you run out of storage room. Are you picking up what I'm throwing down? No, I have plenty of room. <laughs> <laughs> plenty of room. You have too many children. Which brush has the point in? It's the triangle brush. I don't think we have them on our website, but I do have some in stock. So if you guys want them, if you're interested in them, let me know and I'll have my assistant put them on the website. I have, <clears throat> I can't even talk to you. I have, I don't know if you guys know this, I have a virtual assistant, and her name is Caitlin, she's also my niece. She handles all my website, like putting stuff on there. She writes my blogs, she brings me packing peanuts, she's gonna go to Costco, she's amazing. And she does so much stuff, so that way I can get a lot of stuff done. And then I recently just hired <clears throat> a second girl named Caitlin, and she's coming in Monday, and she's helping me ship. We actually got a huge order. If you've been waiting for your paint, we are shipping out tons and tons on Monday. My manufacturer just dropped off like hundreds of quarts of paint today. And I almost so, couldn't carry them in the house. Yeah, I would have shipped it today, but it was too late to go out because our post office closes at 1.30. So we're going to be starting bright and early on Monday morning with my shipping assistant. I'm super excited. All right. Little, little gnome Zeb and little gnome Jamie. It is a corner brush, but it does have a point. Look at Zeb and Jamie. Well, we're old. Older. <laughs> we are kind of old. All right, guys. It's winding down. We're, we're almost done with everything we were going to paint. Got any questions for us before we go? All right. I think that's it. You guys, we really appreciate you. <coughs> done. I you got you to gotta sign. You got to bring us home because my voice is going. We appreciate you guys watching a lot. It really helps us out. I mean, it's made it possible for us to do what we do without this YouTube channel we'd probably still be floundering I heart you she has to do it with her hands because she's got a frog in her throat apparently <laughs> but thanks for watching make sure you subscribe if you're not hit that notifications bell so you can find us when we go live we try to go live about 8 30 mountain standard time uh, every Saturday night it doesn't always work out the kids are actually still up but we bribed them to be quiet so we got to come clean on that and give them ice cream if you're just catching this video and you came in late, watch it from the beginning and you can watch us unload our box of farmhouse finds. I did a, I bought a huge haul for like 20 bucks, so you'll want to see us pull it all out. All right, guys. Have a good evening, and we will see you Monday. Oh, Tara, golden ticket is sold out, but I just shipped some to the shop in California. So if you're watching this, stop by 127 Main Street in Fallbrook and pick yourself up some.
All right, guys, see ya.